So now let's look at how we can use the VR5 in some typical applications. The VR5 is perfect for recording and webcasting of conference sessions or teaching lectures. We can connect several cameras, two microphones, handheld or perhaps a wireless clip-on, and the presenter's PC as input sources. The video mixer can switch between cameras and computer presentation. The audio mixer can control the volume of the presenter's mic and perhaps a camera microphone to add a bit of the live room ambient sound. The session is recorded to SD card for later distribution. I can even put in markers at key points in my presentation. At the same time, the main output can be streamed to the web for a live webinar. For school sports, connect a PC, several cameras, and insert an SD card with team logos, fight songs, and sponsor ads. The announcer's microphones can easily be added. Main audio outputs are connected to the local PA system. A PC is connected by USB for internet streaming of everything. The video mixer can switch between cameras, or the file player can be used to playback stingers or overlay team logos. The computer input can be used for player statistics. The audio mixer can control the volume of announcer's mics, the sound on the field, and audio from the file player out to the local PA system and direct to the webcast. The portability of the VR5 makes it possible to even take it to away games. Or perhaps record sports practices. Use the split screen feature to examine two angles of a player's throwing motion or a golf club swing. The VR5 integrates well with a larger system in a live stage event, such as a concert or church service. The VR5 adds independent control over archiving and streaming to the web. Computer graphics and cameras are connected to a mixer for use in a live venue. In this case, we show a Roland LVS 800. Additional media comes from an SD card for pre-event music or video, announcements, advertising, intros, and more. Loop-throughs on the video mixer bring those individual sources to the VR5. Audio comes either from the front of house venue mixer or a split via a broadcast mix. Main outputs of the VR5 are sent to a DVD recorder for archive or duplication immediately after the event. The same main output is sent out of the streaming encoder for easy live broadcast to the internet. On the VR5, we can select sources from the live venue video mixer, whether original sources or the main output of that other mixer. With camera sources looped through that venue mixer, you can choose to broadcast a camera view even while that venue is displaying a different image. We can add other media that is intended to be independent for the webcast only using the file player. You can easily control audio from the venue mixer and from the media player. 